First question will be from Eric Walden. Eric, go ahead. Hey, Rudy, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, I'm sure you're probably sick of talking about this, but um, I, I just wanted to kind of address your relationship with Donovan, kind of where it was at before this this situation took place, how this situation kind of impacted it, and, and kind of where you guys are at now. I mean, our, our relationship was like the relationship between two two competitors that want to that want to win, you know. And uh, like Donovan just said, uh, no one expects it to be perfect, and it's never going to be perfect. I've never had a perfect relationships, you know, with, with my teammates or with even my family members or with pretty much anyone that's around me. But you know, as long like I said, as long as we respect one another and we we both share the same goals and we both do what's best for the team. Uh, that's what matters. And, you know, I think over the last few years, that's what we've been doing. And that's what we plan on continue on doing. Okay, thank you. Next question will be from Tony Jones. Tony. Rudy, how difficult has uh, have, have these last few months been for you uh, personally and professionally? It's been a uh, tough few months, you know, both physically, mentally. Uh, you know, it was uh, something that I had never experienced before. You know, not just the virus, but the whole situation. I think all of us uh, never experienced that before. You know, it's not just me. So, you know, it was, uh, I think it was a great learning experience for me when I look back. Uh, I think uh, now I'm, you know, I'm much more... You know, it was a great learning experience, and uh, I feel like myself, and I think everyone, you know, just is out of that, you know, a different person. You know, we all, uh, there's a lot of things that we, we all take it for granted uh, that, you know, we, we just, until it happens to you, until, you know, you realize that when you talk about the environment, when you talk about everything that's going on, you realize that uh, we have a lot to, we need to do better. You know, it was kind of like a just slap in the face. And I think uh, we are going to come out of this uh, better as, as persons, more importantly. Okay, thank you. Next question will be from Sarah Todd. Sarah. Hey, Rudy, how's it going? Um, good, how are you? Good. I know that you're um, eligible for a pretty large extension and um, that... I think that there's a lot of concern, especially around the fan base, that anything that might have transpired between you and Donovan would make you lean towards not wanting to be in Utah. Is that the case at all? Or is there anything else that would make you not want to be here? So first of all, I'm, I'm really happy in Utah. Uh, you know, like I've always been saying, uh, I love living here. You know, so that's the number one thing. Number two thing, uh, I want to win, you know, so to be honest, as long as I feel like we we can win and, you know, and we have a group like Queen, the, the things we've been building over the years, it's something that you don't see anywhere else. Uh, and that's something I take a lot of pride in. So right now, yes, it's not perfect. Yes, a lot of things happen, uh, you know, but uh, I still don't take nothing for granted. You know, I think uh, it's a great situation for me individually for my family it's you know something that uh you know i think in the future can still be great for for myself so no i don't i don't plan on, on leaving right now uh, i plan on winning a championship with utah and uh, and of course you know things things evolve things change but as of today uh you know i don't even think about the extension or the money i just think about you know uh, being healthy first, mentally, physically, and uh, and just go out there and uh, and try to do, try to win, just try to win, and and uh, I can get better, you know, as a person, as a as a basketball player. Thank you. Thanks. Um, next question will be from Ben Anderson. Ben. Hey, Rudy. As you've kind of worked your way into becoming a professional basketball player, you've been able to control your identity. And now you've had this narrative built around your entire life on a worldwide scale. 
How have you dealt with that just personally? How do you navigate that going forward? I mean, it's uh, obviously, you know, when, when you have the whole world judging you and threatening you, or, you know, uh, sending you a lot of negative energy and stuff like that, it's, it's something that I would say is not easy as a human being, but at the same time, you know, uh, you know, people just judge you on the perception they have and the perception they get from sometimes it can be one picture, one video, one interview, one action. So, you know, people don't really know you. And, uh, you know, like I said, the, I think you guys know me a little bit. You know who I am as a person, as a human being. Uh, the people around me uh, really know me. They know who I am. Uh, and that's what matters to me. You know, uh, at the end of the day, uh, I won't be able to control everyone's perception of me, but I can control my actions. I can control, you know, the things I do for people around me, for the community, the things I do for, for my teammates on the court, of the court, all that stuff I can control. And that's what really matters to me. Okay, thanks. Next question will be from Eric Woodyard. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? <clears throat> for you, man, you was the first one to, you know, test positive for the coronavirus. So have you had any reservations? I was reading a report that, that was saying you still couldn't smell and taste in some capacity. So as far as going into a bubble, did you have any reservations as a plan? I mean, since you were the first one to test positive for it. What, what did you say at the end? Sorry. No, I said, did you have any reservations of possibly even plan or what was your thought process to even commit to this after actually testing positive for it? I mean, to be honest, when all of this was going on, basketball was the last thing on my, on my mind. Um, the good thing is, you know, we, I had a lot of time to, you know, get my mind right, uh, get my body right, and kind of process, even if it's still not completely processed, everything that was, you know, that happened. And like I said, like, it's not just about me. There's, you know, everyone's been affected by, by this directly or indirectly. You know, people lost jobs, people, I mean, it's just been a lot of stuff. Uh, and also with the, what's going on with, uh, you know, the social justice and all that stuff. So it's, you know, a lot of stuff are going on and it's been a process, but I'm, I'm happy now that I'm in a, in a good place, you know, uh, and I'm happy that, you know, that I, I get the joy back from playing basketball with my team and, and uh, and the competitiveness is, is is back. You know, I'm I'm ready to try to go out there and, and try to win the championship. That's the goal. And to be honest, after everything we've been through as a as a team and as as human beings, uh, it would be a it would be a great comeback. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.